Today we're going to cover ArcGIS Monitor for Managers, Availability, Usage, and Performance. You can follow along by going to our public demo site, arcgismonitor.esri.com. Start by clicking the Login button to our demo site. Multiple measurements are used to define the health of your ArcGIS Enterprise. Data is collected at each tier and software, including web server, ArcGIS server, portal, and database. In the menu bar, select Availability. Availability is expressed as a percentage of uptime in a given time frame. This number is very important for managers to know for service level agreements in your organization, such as 99.9% .9 available. Any collection or environment that is less than 99% available will automatically have a red status. Start by picking a time frame of interest. I'm going to pick previous month. In the example below, we see our availability is 92.115%, and we have a non-availability or downtime of over 52 hours. This is a quick indication that we have availability issues and we'll need to investigate further. Next, a manager should look at the usage patterns of the ArcGIS Enterprise deployment. We'll start by reviewing the load balancer statistics as it collects all requests. Then we'll proceed to the ArcGIS server statistics if additional breakdown per service is needed. In the menu bar, choose Categories and select Usage. Expand the name of the AWS ELB log and select Transactions per Interval for ArcGIS Server. Click on 12 hours to view the last 12 hours of data. User load is typically measured using transactions or requests per time period. It can also be measured with user or IP requests per time. This will help the manager in capacity planning and understanding application or services usage at different time periods. In this example, you see there's a lot of variation in load over different time frames. Next, in the menu bar, choose Categories and select GeoInfo. Expand the name of the AWS ELB log and choose IP Location. IP can be equated to unique users. This report shows user location and number of requests per unique IP. You can zoom in to an area of interest. Here we see we have some requests in the California region. Next, we're going to look at the ArcGIS server transactions per interval. In the menu bar, choose Categories and select ArcGIS. Expand the name of the ArcGIS and select TR. TR is the number of transactions per interval. It can be 900 seconds or 15 minute intervals in our case. And this can be used to answer the following common questions. What is the total usage of each ArcGIS server service per day, week, or month? We can select the appropriate time span and look at the sum statistics. We can also answer, what are my top services in terms of requests? We can pick the appropriate time span, sort, and then sum and use statistics to analyze the data. Next, in the menu bar, choose Reports and select ArcGIS Server. Click the Execute button. This report shows transactions as described previously, but in a nice simple tabular format and you can summarize requests by current week, and execute again, or current month, or even a custom time frame. Next in the menu bar, select Categories and choose ArcGIS. Expand the name of the ArcGIS server and choose Busy Time Seconds. This statistic shows how many seconds a given service took at the ArcGIS server level. This is a good indication of how much ArcGIS server CPU was consumed. Use the SUM statistic to identify top CPU consumers at the ArcGIS server level. Lastly, we will look at performance. In the menu bar, choose Categories and select Usage. Expand the name of the AWS ELB and choose Response Time Seconds. In this example, we see the response time was excellent for the time period, all under 0.02 seconds. On the menu bar, choose Reports and select ArcGIS Server. On the Reports drop-down, choose Busy Time per Transaction Seconds and click Execute. Busy Time per Transaction Seconds is the total time in seconds per transaction consumed by a specific ArcGIS Server service. This is valuable information for the manager in pinpointing a specific service name that is consuming a lot of CPU. 
In this example, we see the sample world cities service is consuming a very small amount of CPU in our enterprise GIS. This concludes our tutorial on system availability, usage, and performance. Thanks for watching.